Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. Uh, I'm sorry about the voice, hopefully it'll get a little bit better as the video goes on. I've still got this virus that I've had for about three, four weeks now. I'm going to start going through my darker polishes and destashing them. So coming up to autumn fall, I'm going to be destashing more of my darker colours. So I'm going to start with my dark reds and I've got quite a few of them. Um, I've got some creams, uh, some glittery deeper reds and some really dark sort of holographic type reds here. All different types of finishes. I'm going to separate them into like deep morello cherry reds and then oxblood reds and then other different finishes in the dark reds. So uh, I think, I've, yeah, I've got 18 of them here. Um, let's see how many I do stash. You feel free to take your guesses now. So I'm going to start with the glittery deeper reds. Um, they're not as d dark as the oxblood, which we'll look at shortly, but um, let's make a start. I've got five of them. First one here is the classic China Glaze Ruby Pumps. And it is more of a, it's kind of like a, a jewel tone, like a, a garnet red, um, more than a ruby red, I think. I don't know, I mean, there is a little bit of pinkiness to it. In lots of different lights, that red glitter is captured there. So that's one coat of China Glaze Ruby Pumps. And another full coverage glittery red, and this is Crushed Rubies. Um, I've used quite a bit of this. This is a great sort of Christmas glittery polish. So there is a, a red base. It does need to be built up because it's full coverage. So yeah, similar but not exactly the same. So that's Crushed Rubies. And that's from Opulent Essences, which is a UK indie brand. And back to the China Glaze. This one is Just Be Claws. And I picked this up a couple of years ago from TK Maxx. So in the bottle, in the bottle it does look kind of similar to root that's ruby pumps and this one here is just be claws so there is some glitter in there but it's got more of a of a metallic finish so that's china glaze just be claws and this is a, a very dark kind of a, a a plummy red and it's called berry british but it it looks to me like, kind of like leaning into the oxblood red. But let's have a look. I may be completely wrong. No, actually, yeah, it is quite a dark, more of a berry shade. But um, this is, Catherine sent me this. It's from the Victorian Poetry Collection. Um, and it was a limited edition Catrice collection. So it dries a kind of satin matte. Then this one here is Sandy Claws, which is from Polish Me Royalty. And of course, a lot of these darker, deeper reds are um, Christmas red. So they have Christmas type names, Santa names, Santa red, Santa Claus red. Um, and this is very pretty. It was from one of the Christmas collections and it's got lots of gold and silver very finely milled flake like kind of crushed flakies in there so that is sandy claws it's a very very pretty dark red okay so now i'm going to move on to what i sort of consider the morello cherry red um, this one here is nars jungle red um if you've been watching my channel for a while then You've probably seen me swatch this a few times. But it's a beautiful, deep red jelly. And once it's built up in two to three coats, it really is a very pretty red. 
This one here is from Arda's Nails and it's called Honour and it's from the Here Come the Boys collection. And this one was actually um, the, the concept, the design, the name of this was in a partnership with Loopy Frog's husband, Ian. Um, so this dries matte and it is actually a fantastic formula for a matte polish. Um, it's really strange using this clear swatch wheel. I will um, build up the coats, but that, but that is Honor from Arda's Nails. Here come the boys' collection, and this one here is one of my old OPIs. This is got the blues for red, and this is this polish made me realise that I do like blue toned, dark, deep, vampy reds. And again, fantastic formula. That is got the blues for red. There we go. Put the flash on. That makes it a little bit clearer, hopefully. Um, that is a sort of perfect Morello cherry red to me. Um, so that's got the blues for red. And then this one here is an essence polish. And this is Do You Speak Love? Um, and this was... I think this was sent to me by Catherine uh, and when Lisa was over in the UK last year she picked up a bottle of this I'm fairly certain this is one of the essences that Lisa picked up from Wilco's again fantastic formula I think I'm gonna have some real problems destashing these deep vampy reds and two more kind of cherry deep cherry reds this one here is Status Ready from Nails Inc. And I can't remember where I got this from. I don't know if maybe it was in a glossy box. That is a great formula. Wow. And it is very cherry red. So that is Status Ready from Nails Inc. And finally, this was a polish that was sent to me from Anna. This is a Trendy Up. And I think this is a jelly as well. This is number 340. Um, yeah, it is a very, very shiny jelly polish. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be really difficult for me to de-stash these polishes, even though... I don't often, I mean, yeah, I do actually, I do wear a dark red in more sort of winter, Christmassy time, um, but also in the autumn as well. I do like those deep cherry red and oxblood reds, which we're going to be moving on to next, actually. So the oxblood reds. So I've got six more, seven more polishes here um, and they go slightly deeper right up into the this kind of blackened red polish here. Let's start with this one. This again is more of a plummy red and this is red carpet. I believe this was sent to me by Anna Vestin. This is a fantastic formula um, and it is red but it does have a bit of that kind of berry tone to it. I think that is probably a one coat red. Oh, fantastic. Yeah it does kind of look more sort of ox blood. Oh, I'm going to turn the flash off. There we go. That is a more true representation, actually, of that shade. So that is red carpet from H and M. Then this one here, I can't remember what the name is, but it is a pretty perfect polish. Again, it is a very deep ox blood red. And there is more of a, there's kind of a purple undertone to this as well. So I don't know whether that will dry matte. We will have to wait and see. But that is an unnamed polish from Pretty Perfect Polish. This was one of my first Zoyas. And uh, it's escaped every single D-stash because it's called Claire. Um, and it is a very, um, a kind of brown based red uh yeah it's kind of classic sort of oxblood red um 
I've actually worn this for a couple of years, to be honest. But it's probably one of my most used, limited collection of Zoyas. Um, and this one here is, so this is number one. This is a prototype that Loopy sent me. And it's actually a prototype of Honor, which I swatched a little bit earlier with the Morello Cherry Reds. So this is a little bit darker. This is more of, a, of an oxblood red. And again, I think it dries matte. So this one didn't quite make it, I think. Um, I think Ian was looking for something that would kind of represent Klingon blood, uh, I believe. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong there, Loops. So this one is a prototype from Ardis Nails. And this one here is a very, very dark uh, oxblood red. And this one is called Mirror, Mirror. And it's one of the uh, Sinful Shines from Sinful Colours. And yeah, I can see. so this is a, a kind of Crelly formula. Uh, it's definitely a sort of mix between jelly and a, a cream. Um, that is a very deep dark red. That is really pretty actually. That's probably the vampiest red I think that I've got. And then finally these two here. This is a holographic. Um, this is Sparky Royal Blood from Dance Legend. Um, so it's only a mini. Um, it's only a small sort of five milliliter bottle. But this is a very pretty. It's more of a scattered holographic, I think. Although in the bottle there it looks linear. But on the nail, it looks like it's probably going to be more... I remember wearing this, I think it is more of a scattered holographic. So that is Royal Blood from Dance Legend. All the flakes of polish that have fallen off these unused bottles. And this one I have used recently, actually. This is, this is Drogon from uh, Prism Polish. And it, is, it looks pretty much black in most lights but well actually it looks purple there um but it is a very very deep a kind of blackened red stuffed with uh red copper gold green very very finely milled glitters it's a, a beautiful polish so that's drogon from Prism Polish, which is a UK indie brand. I am going to get some cough medicine. I'm going to try and tidy up this area a bit and put a second coat on everything. This is going to be really tricky. Uh, 18. How many do you think I'll be de-stashing? So here is a second coat on everything. Um, I'm going to try and do this quickly. There are lots of similarities here, so I think I'm going to be able to thin some of these polishes out. But I am definitely keeping the three glittery deep reds here. So that's ruby pumps, crushed rubies, and this beautiful metallic red Just Be Claws. Um, so yes, I'm keeping all three of those. And I'm also going to keep the Catrice... Uh, Victorian poetry even though uh, the shimmer you can't see when it's matte when it's a satin but you can see it when it's got a glossy top coat on um, and I actually really like the the, well, the whole collection that was sent to me by Catherine uh, I'm go also going to keep sandy claws um, and try and use this much more in the autumn winter this year glitter so I'm not de-stashing any of my glittery deep reds However, with the cherry polishes, um, I think I've got six of them here and they're very similar. So it's starting here. I'm definitely going to keep the NARS, but I am going to de-stash Honor. Um, Honor is the matte polish that's from the Here Come the Boys collection. 
and I actually prefer the prototype which is this one here so I'm going to keep the prototype and I'm going to de-stash the one that actually made it into the collection so uh, sorry about that Ian I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to de-stash the slightly paler honor and then of these four here that's that's these four here and they're very very similar so I'm going to keep the OPI got the blues for red I am actually going to de-stash do you speak love just because it's very similar and I need to thin this category but I, I, I am going to keep status ready because it's a fantastic formula um, but I'm going to pass on the, the trend it up. So I'm kind of keeping half and de-stashing half of the of the cherry reds. So of the uh, very dark kind of oxblood uh, and the deep blackened reds here, I'm definitely going to keep Drogon and Dance Legend and actually Mirror Mirror, that's these three here. Um, just beautiful polishes, fantastic formula. I really, really like the, uh, the 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 shine on the sinful shine uh, mirror mirror. I'm also going to keep the prototype, as I mentioned before, from the Arda's Nails Here Come the Boys collection. Um, but these three here, I'm actually going to keep the Zoya. I am going to keep the H&M because it is a fantastic one coat formula red carpet. I am going to de-stash the unnamed, mysterious, pretty, perfect polish. Oh, there we go. I am keeping 14 and I'm de-stashing four of them. So not hugely successful. But it has made me realise that I'm kind of looking forward to wearing these deeper, darker reds in the autumn and winter. Let me know what your favourite dark red polishes are. Have you got any um, dark red holographic polishes and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!